Well, he won't have time to think of anything, Fabian Cancellara. Now he's made his move. He's just going to go. It's going to be the longest two kilometers of his life. He's nosing away. 32 seconds to the two Discovery riders and Van Petergum. Then almost a minute back to Tom Bowen. The barrier's down. Well, the rules say you've got to stop, but they haven't bothered with that. They've gone straight over at 10 k's to go. Well, at 10 k's to go, they didn't think about that. There was somebody there checking it. There's a referee there. The lights are flashing. They're stopping Tom Bonin, Juan Antonio Fletcher, and there is the train that's gone through. There's absolutely no way that these guys are going to come through now. The race is over for these three. The race now is going to be down to just four men. Well, when the rules state that if the crossing comes down, you have to stop, you lose the real time. There's no way around it at 10 kilometers to go, so that's cost them about 30 seconds. Well, that train went through very fast indeed, but for these men now, next time they get a time check, Phil, it's going to be around about the 1 minute and 30 seconds, but their morale must be broken with that incident. It has happened before in Paris-Roubaix, but it's not seen, not seen it for a couple of years. One kilometer to go to the line now. That'll include a lap and a half of the stadium. What a feeling this must be for Fabian Cancellara. It'll be his 26th win of his career, his second of this year. His last big win was the prologue when he beat Lance Armstrong in the prologue of the Tour de France. Back in 2004. These are the crowd outside the Velo Club de Roubaix. That's the clubhouse of the organizing club of this great stadium. All but a couple of years. The race has always finished here. The crowd are on their feet now. You can probably hear them as he circles the velodrome. 1923, it was only suited did this. Now it is Fabian Cancellara. The bell and still nobody else in the stadium as Cancellara goes alone past the bell and rides a lap of honor here at the 104th running of Paris Roubaix. Once he gets round the back, he can freewheel. They can't. As Cancellara now can enjoy the moment, he's about to go past the stadium entry. Nobody has come in. He will finish before anybody else enters. Now's a moment of pleasure. Gone is the pain of a six and a half hour day. The cobblestones of the hell of the north. They suddenly have become his friends. He's adapted to Paris Roubaix. He's conquered the Queen and he's won the event. The Swiss cyclist, the first winner from Switzerland since 1923. He can't believe it, but boy, does he deserve it. Fabian Cancellara wins Paris Roubaix. And this is now the hard working young Russian here, Vladimir Gusev, hoping that Leif Hoster will get something out of this for Discovery Channel. They've got third and fourth, but they won second at least. Poor George Hincapi. He looks so good today, to no fault of his own, on the cobblestones. They jumped up and bit him and snapped his extension, and down and out he went. Then it was left to these two teammates here, there to help him, trying to salvage a big result for Discovery. Well, they've got a big result. It's a question of whether they can outwit Peter Van Petergum, who has won this race before and is a good, useful rider on the velodrome too. He takes them high onto the track, that'll test them. As they now come around the other three on, you'll see them pass through underneath our picture, I think, as these boys start the sprint. They're going to force Van Petergum to dive for the inside. There he goes. Have they got the strength to take him? I don't think so, as he winds up. What did he look over his shoulder for? Because he's going to allow Hoster in. And that's what you don't do, as Hoster takes second. Van Petergum third. Gusev will be fourth. This will be the race for fifth place. And Tom Bonin, he's taking on Balam, but he's still got the proud to win as a world champion but the proud winner is Fabian Cancellara and the next three riders all disqualified for riding through that closed level crossing so Tom Bonham was given second Alexander Bolan was third hope you enjoyed the coverage this is Phil Liggett for Paul Sherwin saying goodbye for now <laughs> Fabian Cancellara,